Hello and welcome to the another episode of Advanced Photoshop and Lightroom tutorial and today we going to edit this image in Lightroom. So let's get started. And this image I clicked from the Matunga hill during the golden hours around 5 pm and this temple in this image is Viru Park's temple which is one of the ancient and the oldest temple. So let's start editing this. So if you see this image, I have clicked this during golden hours, but my camera was set for the daylight. So now we have to play with the white balance in post processing. So if you, the guys, if you have not aware of what is white balance, I have already created a tutorial on the white balance. So just go and check out on my channel. And then you will understand this much better. So let's start editing this image. So first of all, I will increase my white balance because I want to give a golden hour look. So I will set it up around 19,000. Oh, this is fine. 19,000 close to 19,000. Okay. And now if you see my area is blowing out, right? So let me just reduce my exposure let's set it for let's set it for exact minus 2 so I have set up my exposure right so now I will reduce my highlight completely I will open up my shadow completely now obviously this image is not look good right now this is before this is after I think it start looking ugly more but this is not the end now we'll set up the white for this image I will hold my alt key if you have seen my previous tutorial this is the basic rule which I follow in Lightroom okay I hold my alt key not for everything but especially for the landscape this is the general rule for landscape okay not for every photos I hold my alt key and I will increase my white till I get a white point you see uh, red dot start coming in yeah this is all my white point okay but we don't go to that further we'll stop where I see my first dot okay I'll stop here this is my white I have increased white okay now what is black black we have to set it in the same way we have hold the alt key and we'll reduce our black till I got this C in my bottom right corner if you see yellow if you see my bottom part you see yellow part appearing right this is my black point I don't want to get that much I will just stop at my starting of black okay so we'll stop here here I got my white and blacks later I will increase my vibrance around 33 there is a no specific number okay I am just I'm just seeing this image and fixing my you know all these slider but yeah there is a term for white and blacks which I already told hold the alt key and keep going until you get your black and white points right I am not touching any of this directly going to the sharpening because this is very important your landscape image should look sharper and nice while you print right so we'll keep it around 70 we'll keep the sharpening on the same node any of this shadow will have the noise so we'll remove all those noise we'll keep it around 30 and we'll do the masking so masking also same thing you have to hold the alt key and you drag it drag it until you see this something like this all this black area is basically your masked area and all those white area is your you know uh, a visible area or a sharpen area right so what you want to see as a output is basically your temple should be visible with the sharpening and your you know hill borders so something like around 58 around 45 yeah 45 looks fine in this I can see my temple detail as well as the hill area detail so I will stop at 45 and then I will go to the lens correction I will enable my profile correction I will enable this remove chromatic abbreviation okay and I will come back this to later 
venating right now we will not do what we'll do now our global adjustment is done so we'll do the local adjustment now so we'll start with graduated filter we'll pick this up drag it from the bottom part something like this till the bottom of your temple and i will reduce the exposure around minus 1 and i will add a green little bit in this okay now what i will do see your image start already looking nice but the point is your subject is not visible properly this is your secondary subject this is your main subject this should look proper right so what we can do is we'll start with radial filter and we'll drag it like this now if you see it's looking much better than the previous right we'll do few more adjustment in this okay so we'll keep it at 78 will increase our contrast around 26 will increase our clarity also around something similar to what we have given in contrast this almost work right so when you give clarity this area look more sharper and more you know give a depth and contrast give you know highlight and shadow in that area so if you see before and after it makes much difference what else we can do is we can give detailing in this area which is your you know temple window and door so we'll give so we'll give detailing in this so we'll click one more time this radial filter and hold and just make sure you are in that particular area only you are not exceeding this so you know any effect which you are applying will be in this area only so i will keep the exposure this this much is fine but i will further increase my clarity so i will increase my clarity until i see something visible and prominent in this area increase contrast also depending on what you want with the image right there is no fixed rule then i will duplicate this same filter and apply it on top portion of the temple so now you can see this area is completely visible even if you see from the 100% this was actually before and this was after so this is this is how you know lightroom and this is the power of raw because this image is basically if you see is clicked in cr2 format then only we are able to get this adjustment done if this image was shot in jpg it's not possible to transform something like this okay that's why i always recommend raw so what else we can do one more adjustment over here because this is our second subject in this image after the temple so i have given exposure around 60 for this i will add one more layer to my main subject which is temple and i will give contrast now i think i need to reduce my saturation little bit okay now i will go to hue because this was actually if you see sunset is little towards the golden side so we'll change our hue so i am changing my yellow towards orange and i am going to saturation i am adding further orange so this is my before and after 
now my image is complete now only thing which i need to do is give a little post copy needing so this is the final image you see before and after let's see how it look in full screen so this is our final image i hope you like this tutorial if you like my work please do subscribe to my channel because i keep coming with the photoshop and lightroom tutorials so you can learn every week something new so please do subscribe thanks for watching